boys and girls from grade 5. Welcome to our new book 5A. This is Nofil Gattan and today we will continue Unit 4, Episode 3, Read to Lead and we will focus on grammar. Alright boys and girls, we have here the word to plus adjective. Let's see this example. The class was too noisy. The class was too noisy. The word too here tells us that this class is full of noise. Noisy is the adjective and it tells us that the class is too noisy. So, noisy describes the class. Let's see our rule. It is the subject plus the verb plus the word to and then adjective. The rule again, it's the subject plus the verb plus to plus the adjective. Take a close look at this picture and try to think of example using to plus an adjective. Excellent! He is too hungry. He is too hungry. The subject here is he, is the verb, to is the word and hungry is the adjective. The adjective hungry describe the boy's status. He is too hungry. He is too hungry. Alright boys and girls, take a look at this picture. Try to think of this girl and try to use the word to plus an adjective. Excellent! Her voice is too loud. Her voice is too loud. Her voice is the subject, is the verb. To is the word that we should use. Loud is the adjective. So, her voice is too loud. She is shouting. We have here the adjective plus enough. Let's see this example together. The room isn't big enough. The room isn't big enough. The room here is the subject. Isn't is the verb in negative form. Big is the adjective and the word enough. The word enough here, it tells us that this room is not big enough for 30 students, but it's enough for 20 students. So, the room isn't big enough. Let's see our rule here for today. The subject plus the verb in negative form plus adjective plus the word enough. Remember boys and girls, the negative form. So, our rule again here is the subject plus the verb in negative form plus the adjective plus the word enough. Let's see this example, boys and girls. He isn't active enough. Take a look at this picture. He is too lazy. He isn't active enough. He is too lazy and too sleepy. He isn't active enough. Let's see this example. Take a close look at this picture and try to think of using the word enough and the verb in negative form. Excellent! The internet wasn't fast enough. The internet wasn't fast enough. It was too slow. The internet wasn't fast enough. Great job! Let's have a look here. We have to plus adjective and here we have the adjective plus enough. To plus adjective. She is too short. She is too short. And here in enough, we have the adjective comes before the word enough. The adjective plus enough. She isn't tall enough. Don't forget, here we use the verb in negative. Two plus adjective. So two comes before the adjective. She is too short. And with enough, we use the adjective before the word enough. She isn't tall enough. Don't forget to use the verb in negative. All right, let's see further examples as such. The coffee is too hot. The coffee is too hot. It isn't cold enough. So the coffee is too hot. It isn't 
called enough. Excellent, boys and girls. Let's take a look at this picture and let's use the word too and enough in example. The game is too dangerous. It isn't safe enough. The game is too dangerous. It isn't safe enough. Excellent. All right, boys and girls. Let's check this example. The shirt is too small. It isn't big enough. The shirt is too small, it isn't big enough. The first sentence, the adjective is small and it comes after the word too. The next sentence, we have the word enough and before it we have the adjective big. Our verb here is in negative form, isn't. The shirt is too small, it isn't big enough. Think of examples as such boys and girls. Let's practice complete with two or enough. Read the sentence more than once to find the correct answer. The weather is space called. Have a close look boys and girls of the verb. See the verb first and find out where is the adjective. See the location of the adjective and of course you're going to find out the answer. The weather is space called. Cold. Cold here is the adjective. Is here the verb in our sentence? So what do you think? What comes before the adjective? Is it too or enough? Of course too. The weather is too cold. The weather is too cold. He can't drive. He isn't old space. He can't drive. He isn't old space. What do you think? Is it too or enough? Remember boys and girls to read the sentence more than once. Find out the verbs and see in which form they are. Here we have can't and isn't and they are of course in the negative. What do you think? We have the adjective old and it is before the space. So it is too or enough. Of course, he can't drive, he isn't old enough. Excellent, great job. Complete with two or enough. The movie wasn't exciting. Space, I didn't finish watching it. The movie wasn't exciting. Space, I didn't finish watching it. These sentences are in negative. So, the movie wasn't exciting. Space, what do you think? Where is the adjective here? Is it before or after the space? The adjective here is exciting, exciting, so, and it comes before the space, boys and girls, so, the missing word is too or enough, of course, enough, the movie wasn't exciting enough, I didn't finish watching it, let's move for the next example, the food is, space, salty, I can't eat, the food is, salty, I can't eat. Is it too or enough? Find out the adjective and see where is it. Is it before or after the space? The adjective here is the word salty. Excellent! The food is too salty. I can't eat it. All right, boys and girls, you do have a homework for today. Go to page 54 in your pupil's book and ask and answer questions about different things using too and enough. What do you think of this storybook? It's too difficult. It isn't easy enough. All right, boys and girls, we have reached the end of today's episode and we learned how to use too and enough in meaningful sentences. Thank you for watching me this episode and I hope to see you the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.